Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Ascot Racecourse here on Saturday. It is October the 15th, 2016. We're going to look at all the races on today's British Champions uh, card from Ascot. Before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseRacingKid5 for more selections from racetracks around the world, and I mean it, around the world. Uh, it's a great card from Ascot. Let's get on to it. Starting off at race number one, the 125 post time, local post time from Ascot. It's Dequipo, British Champions, long distance cut. A group two uh, st stakes here, going for class one horses, going for a purse of $514,500. That's an American currency, so don't get confused. For three-year-olds and upwards, we have a field of ten stayers traveling two miles here. And uh, my top selection here I'm going to give out is going to be the eight-horse Shakes uh, Hazard Road. We'll go with that as pronunciation of the uh, word. Uh, Shake Hazard Road, the eight-horse. I'm going to do a tri-cat here. I'm going to go eight five ten, eight five ten here. Uh, but number eight, Shake Hazard Road. I'm going to try and beat the four to five favorite here in the stage order of St. George. Um, but number eight, last time out, 15 1 Martin Harley on this one. Last time out, run at Doncaster in the 9th of September, two miles and a quarter in 250th Doncaster Cup. Source one by knows that day and just, just got up there. It was, a, it was a very nice victory for this horse. He cuts back to the two mile distance today. You know, this horse, um, you know. This horse is running a mile and a half races. You know, I think this horse does better when he when he runs the stayers kind of distance. You know, start before a Goodwood, two miles in the Qatar Goodwood Cup. This horse brings third by one and a quarter lengths. You know, he's basically, um, you know, he, he had a nice third place finish that day. Um, you know, he needed a little extra kick, I think. Um, start before two miles and a half in the Gold Cup at Royal Alaska. He finished third by five and a quarter lengths of 41. He had nothing that day. It was his first start since uh, Maidan in Dubai in the Shahima Classic. He finished eighth by seven and a half lengths in a very tough uh, Shahima Classic of 2016. This horse finished... Uh, well back, but, uh, you know, the, the longer this horse goes, the better he does. He did win the Nat Al Sheba Trophy um, at uh, Maidan earlier this year by three and, a qu uh, three and three quarter lengths. First start since last year's Canadian International. You know, this horse ran a, a very good victory that day, and then this horse finished third in last year's Canadian International at a mile and a half. I think this horse should have a good run here today. 15-1, to I'm going to take my chances on this one here. Um, so to recap my bets for race number one, the 125 post time in the uh, United Kingdom, actually here in New York City. Um, it goes off at 8.25 in the morning, so I might have to wake up early for that. Uh, I'll be watching this race with some coffee. But it's the Quipo British Champions Long Distance Cup. I'm going to go with the 8-horse Shake Hazard Road. I'm going to go 8-5-10. 8-5-10 here in the 125 from Ascot. So now let's get on to race number two, the two o'clock post time. It's Dequipo, British champion sprint stakes. We have a field of 14 horses going to the gate for, uh, for a purse of $882,000. But three olds and upwards, traveling six furlongs, 1,200 meters on the turf course. And my top selection here, I'm going to go to the eight horse, the Tin Man. I'm going to go 8, 12, 13 here in the Tri-Cat here. Those are my top three. But number eight, top selection, the Tin Man. Tom Queeley at 5 to 1. Last time out of Haddock on the third of September in the 32 Red uh, Sprint Cup Stakes Group 1 that day. He finished second by one and three quarter lengths. You know, he finished behind Quiet Reflection. He was running back to this one today. Uh, but, you know, this horse had a... You know, it was a very nice second place finish. I, you know, it can't uh, be... You know, it, it just all around it was a nice second place finish. Start before at Newberry, July 16th, six rungs in the Group 3 Hackwood uh, Stakes. Horse won by head. A very nice driving uh, fi finish that day. You know, got up there, but it was a nice uh, finish for this horse. Um, and then over this course in Diamond Jubilee at Ascot on June the 18th, this horse finished eighth by five and three quarter lengths. You know, this horse just did not, didn't have the good, best of runs. Faced two good of a horse's. Um, too quick after a layoff, you know, he, he ran a month before May 23rd at Windsor, six from list and six, one by two lengths, but it was his first start since last year's British champion sprint, you know, he, he just had a little bit too much on his plate so quick, um, he ran this race last year, he finished fourth by three and three quarter lengths, uh, the winner Muhar ran really well, but, um, you know, I think this horse should be improving, he's, a, he's had a better season so far this year than last year, uh, I'm gonna take the five to one odds on this one here in the States, so to recap my bets for race number two, from Ascot's to Quipo, British champion, Sprint Stakes. I'm going to go with the 8 horse, the Tin Man. I'm going to go 8, 12, 13. 8, 12, 13 here in the Tri-Cat for race number 2, the 2 o'clock post time. So now let's get on to race number 3 from Ascot, uh, the local post time at 2.35. It is the British champion, Philly Mayor Stakes. 
It's Group 1, Class 1 uh, race here. Field of 13 horses going for a purse of $882,000 for three olds and upwards. Field 13, like I said, going a mile and a half, 2,400 meters on the grass. And uh, my top selection here will go to the four horse journey. I'm going to go 4, 8, 13. 4, 8, 13. Number 4, journey, 6 to 1. Frankie Dettori for John Gosden. They, th that uh, trainer rider combos teamed up to some very classic victories some very memorable ones but um six to one on this uh this uh this horse out of dubawi last time out ran at new market september 23rd a mile and a half and on philly's listed stakes first start since may this horse won by three quarters length you know it was the best horse in the field and this horse won easy very nice victory for this horse that day first start off the layoff start before may the 28th at uh, Haddock, a mile and a half in the Group 3, uh, 188-bet.co UK stakes. This horse won by one quarter length, even money favorite. The best horse in the field proved it that day, winning easy. And then at York in the Betfred Middleton stakes, this horse finished third by one half lengths. Was the favorite, but just didn't have anything that, that day. It was the horse's first start since this race last year. Um, this horse ran last year at uh, Ascot, October the 17th in Quipro, Philly Mayor's stakes. The horse finished second by uh, three quarters length at seven to one. You know, just uh, need a little extra ground. I think this horse should be coming into this race a little better. You know, last year this horse uh, used the same kind of race at Newmarket to prep for this one. Uh, it was last year she won it by eight lengths this year you know I, you know this year i think she's coming to the race a little better she's running uh second off the layup i think she should have a monster run here today at six to one here in the states i like the odds on this one um wonder what kind of odds you could get in the uk on this but you know I, i'll take the six to one you could get on this one so to recap my bets for race number three the 235 from ascot gonna go with the four horse journey i'm gonna go four eight uh, 4 8 13. 4 8 13 from Ascot here in the British champion Philly Mayor Stakes. So now let's get on to race number 4. The fourth race on Champions Day from Ascot is the Group 1 Quipo Queen Elizabeth II Stakes. Class 1 horses here. Purse one, almost $1.7 million. Very nice race uh, for, for three year olds and upwards. Field of 13 horses traveling a mile on the turf course, 1,600 meters ahead of them, and this is a great one. Um, my top selection in this spot, I'm going to go to the 13 horse at 2 to 1, minding. I know there's no value with this one, probably, but I think she's had an awesome season. I'm going to go 13 8 9 here, 13 8 9 here, and the Queen Elizabeth II stakes. But uh, number 13, minding, 2 to 1, Ryan Moore on this one for Aiden O'Brien and for the Coolmore group. Last time out, Leopardstown, September the 10th, on a yielding turf course, a mile and a quarter in the Quipo. Irish champion stakes. This horse finished third by three and a half lengths behind Almazor, who's running in the next race, but this horse uh, wasn't catching Almazor and found. Found was the winner of the um, Arc de Triomphe at Shanti a few weeks ago, but this, it was a very decent third place finish. She's coming back to a mile today, which I always thought, personally, this horse will always romp at a mile. Um, you know, I think she's liked the course also. Start before at Goodwood, July the 30th. Uh, mile and a quarter in the Qatar Nassau Stakes. Horse won by one quarter lengths, 20 cents to the dollar. No value with this horse that day, but won very impressively. Um, and then in the uh, Sea of the Stars, pretty poly sticks of Kirk in Ireland, June the 26th. Horse won by four and a half lengths. Another very easy victory. This horse had some very easy victories this year. You know, this horse was the winner of the Inverness Oaks earlier this season. And, uh, won the Thousand Guineas at Newmarket earlier this season. You know, this horse has just had a great season. Uh, if this horse wraps it up to uh, wraps up this race today and wins it, you know it's going to be a very memorable one. I think because uh, she's run very good. You know that loss last time out against the boys and in the uh, what do you call that? And the um, Irish champions, it was, you know, it was just a lot tougher, but she, the, the field she's facing today, you know, against these uh, these other boys, these uh, three-year-olds and four-year-olds, um, you know, I, I personally think she should uh, run very well here today. Um, so, going to recap my bets now for race number four, the 310 from Ascot's the Queen Elizabeth the second stakes gonna go with the 13 horse minding gonna go 13 8 9 13 8 9 so now let's get on to race number five it's the big one from Ascot the fifth race the 345 post time it's the Quipo champion stakes uh, class one horses group one horses going for a purse of almost two million dollars in American currency for three olds and upwards field of 11 horses traveling a mile and a quarter 
uh, 2,000 meters they're traveling here, and um, you know, it's a little wide open, not so much wide open for the win spot, but if you're playing a tri-cat like I am, it's a little wide open for the second and third positions. My top selection, and if, you know, this horse will be my best bet of the day. It's 7 to 5 here in the States. No value, but I think this horse will really romp. That's a 9 horse, Almanzar. Um, going to go 9 3 8 here in the um, Champions uh, Stakes from Ascot. Uh, 9 3 in the Tri Cap, but number 9, Almanzar. Best bet of the card, 7 to 5. Christophe Simeon coming in from France to ride this horse. Last time out, ran at September 10th at Leopardstown. I'm on the quarter in the Quipa Irish Champion Stakes. At 7 to 1, this horse won by three quarters line. Had a very, very nice victory that day against some very tough horses. Found, who uh, finished second that day, ran a few weeks later to win the Arc de Triomphe at uh, Shanti. Uh, found running back into this race again, using this race as a kind of prep race for the Breeders' Cup Turf coming up in about three weeks. So, Found's going to have a lot of uh, races under her belt going into the San Anita Breeders' Cup Turf. But uh, back to Almanzar. Start for four that came on in this horse's uh, native France. Dovo, a mile and a quarter in the Brie, Gontrot, Brian de Hong Kong Jockey Club. Pardon me, my French is horrible. This horse won by length that day. Easy victory in the field of nine horses. You know, this horse won the Prix de Jockey Club at Chanty back in June. He won the uh, a group three at Chanty. You know, this horse loves Chanty. He's winner of his last four. Um, I, I don't see this horse getting beat t uh, tonight, uh, today. I, I really don't. I think he should have a very good run. Um, been coming into this race very good. His last start in in Ireland was really good. So I'm going to go with this one here. Sort of count my best race number five, the 345 post time from Ascot's Quipa Champion Stakes. Going to go with my best bet of the card, number nine, Almanzar. Going to go with 938. 938. So now let's get on to race number six, the final program from today's card from Ascot. It is the Balmoral Handicap. Uh, going for a purse of $367,500 for three year olds and upwards field of 23 horses traveling a mile, 1,600 meters, and if you have a top pick in this race, you know, I this race is so wide open, you know, I, I could have went 12 different ways here, uh, you just get the dart, throw it at the dartboard, and there's your selection, um, I feel like Donald Trump with the hands that, uh, prick, but, um, Donald Trump that prick, yes, I am right, um, but, um, uh, you know, if you could find a horse you really like, uh, congrats to you, I, I could go three different ways, I, I went three different ways, but I could really go 12 in reality, but, uh, you know, my top three is going to be 19, 20, 3, 19, number 20, and the number three horse. I would box them all in the exact and see where we could go from there. Maybe even put a few dollars to win on each of them to see where we could go from there. But if I had to give you a top selection, I would give number 19 Zhu Fung as a top selection with Jim Crowley. Uh, but number number 19, Zhu Fung, Jim Crowley, 20 to 1 here. He's coming out of a start at Maison Lafitte in France on October the 7th, a mile on the 8th, and a basic uh, uh, handicap. This horse finished fifth by three and a half lengths that day. You know, it didn't have the best of runs that they didn't have the best of closing kicks like most uh, the French horses have. Um, you know, start four was here in uh, England at uh, Newmark in a mile and eighth in a handicap class two. Horse finished fifth by five lengths that day. Just again had nothing at Newbury mile and a quarter class two handicap. Finished sixth by five lengths a weekend. And he, he won a race at Goodwood uh, in uh, late August. You know, he's had a lot of races under his belt the last few starts. But I think he should be improving here today. His race in France wasn't half bad. He just lacked the, get, the kick, uh, the closing kick. Uh, you know, I, I think this horse should have a very good run here today. I'm going to take my chances with this 20 to 1 shot. Um, you know, I'm also using the 20 horse Af um, Afjan, we'll go with that pronunciation on the 20, Frankie Dutori for Al Shakab. Um, you know, this horse is coming off a 7th race finish here over this course at Ascot 7 furlongs back in October the 1st. Finished seven by two lengths. He just didn't have the best of closing kicks, you know. But he start before his start before he won at um, Kempton on the all weather. He won by length. A nice victory that day. You know he he has a strong chance to win. And also the three horse fireman. It's you know he uh, he is coming off uh, two starts here at Ascot. Last start seven furlongs handicap class two. He finished second by half length. He need a little extra kick that day to win. And he finished second last time at Ascot in uh, early September. Um, you know he, he could be on my top selection here also. But it's just such a hard race this Balmora handicaps always is. So you know I, my top three in this one. So to recount my best race number six the 4:25 post time from Ascot. Gonna go with the 
1920 and the three horse. 1920 and three. So good luck to all and follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5. Good luck, everybody.